Hey everyone, it's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 4 with another 5 minutes. That's how I did it. If you've been following along, you know we are working our way through the advancement book. Now, last episode we worked on the Clay Atkin, the A Break a Leg, and the Don't Sieve on Me advancements. On this episode, we are going to work on the Slop in the Bucket, as well as the Eating Dirt and the Bubble Bubble uh, quests. Now, uh, before we go on though, uh, there's a couple other things that we've got to do that don't actually show up in the advancement book. Uh, first off is we're going to need to make ourselves a furnace. So uh, to do that, we are going to want to make ourselves some cobblestone. Now, I've got a, a bunch of uh, resources in here, but uh, to make cobblestone, it is four petrified acorns and five petrified resin, and that's going to get us a, a ton of cobblestone here. Now, the reason I made so much is we want to first take this and make ourselves a furnace. Uh, as well, this is a good opportunity for us to upgrade our tools a little bit. So first off, we're going to make ourselves a cobblestone axe. Uh, also, we're going to want to make a crook. Now, you can see these wooden tools, and if you've been playing this, uh, you know that they break very, very quickly. So uh, upgrading to uh, better uh, tools is going to be uh, you know, really, really critical to getting further in this uh, pack as quickly as possible. So uh, what I want to do is I want to make my, ourselves a stone crook. Now, to make a stone crook, you, we simply need four pieces of stone rod. Now, that is just two pieces of cobblestone in a crafting table gets us the four stone rod and then like the uh, wooden crook it is simply that upside down L shape uh, in the crafting table gets us a stone crook. Now uh, these wooden tools are going to go out and we're going to put them you know somewhere safe for now but uh, that is how you make uh, a couple of extra tools. Now as far as uh, quests go our first quest is going to be this eating dirt. Cook any acorn in a furnace to increase their nutritional value. So uh, to start we're going to take this furnace and and we're going to go and place it right here in our world and we're going to open it up and we're going to take a couple of acorns and then let's throw a little bit of wood in here and at some point I'm going to make some uh, charcoal out of it but for now we'll just use this oak wood uh, to make ourselves some fruit and as soon as this is done uh, you can see we get a dirty a or dirt acorn roasted and all the acorns will get you a um, you know basically a food acorn you can eat them raw the return on them is not much uh, but when you cook them, you get pretty much double the return. So it is a little bit more efficient way of uh, eating. So that was uh, the first advancement, uh, that eating dirt. Uh, next up, we're going to work on the slop in a bucket. Now, using your new clay tree, craft and fire a clay bucket. So uh, last episode, we made ourselves a piece of clay. Uh, now, you could place this in the world and break it, and you will get your uh, you know balls of clay, or you can put it in a crafting table and get those uh, balls of clay just the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to place three pieces of clay in a crafting table in that V shape and that gets us an unfired bucket. So while this guy is cooking over here, let us quickly, um, okay, I'm going to, as soon as this is done, I'm going to pop that out that there take those guys out and we're going to fire up that uh, clay bucket as soon as that's done I'm going to put those uh, acorns in there because my character has been super super hungry this whole time and it's going to be good to have a proper source of food so there you go we now have ourselves a clay bucket so if we open up that advancement you see we've got the slop in the bucket now last but not least is the bubble bubble craft any cauldron to catch rainwater create lava dye items and a bunch of other uses now this is a, a very very useful useful uh, item. You will be using it uh, for quite a few different uh, purposes uh, coming up and there are a couple of different levels of them. Uh, there is like a cobblestone one and you know an iron one and all that but uh, for now we're just going to go and craft ourselves some wooden cauldrons. So uh, to make a wooden cauldron you simply need seven pieces of wood in a crafting table in a U sheet in a U shape will get us that uh, wooden cauldron. So there you go. There is that uh, achievement of bubble bubble. So we're going to go, we're going to place these guys. Um, let's place them over here for the moment. And one thing to keep in mind is if it does rain, they will fill up with water, which is not a bad thing. We are going to need water in the world, but uh, getting water is actually not that uh, difficult. It is simply uh, saplings into the crushing tub, although right now we've got some sap in there, so we won't be able to do it in that particular one. But uh, that will be an upcoming episode. Uh, but one last thing I want to show, uh, since we've got a little bit of time, is uh, my uh, chopping method. And uh, now that we've upgraded our tools, this is a good opportunity to show it. So what I'm going to do is grab ourselves some 
Uh, let's go and get some more clay because we are definitely going to need more clay in the future. I Nine is ideal, but right now we've only got five of those saplings. That's, you know, not a problem. What, normally what I do is I put a, a three by three layer of these saplings. You can make it bigger as well, uh, but at a certain point it becomes a little bit unmanageable. Because I'm focused on collecting uh, the resources rather than just wood, every time one of these trees uh, spawns up, I'm going to basically, you know, collect all those leaves and then I'm just going to leave that wood there for the moment. We'll gather all that wood at the end and actually tell you what, let's go one, two, three, four. And now we've got a couple more saplings. So we got another sapling uh, that sprouted. We're going to take that and we're going to come back. So what we're going to do is I'm going to keep doing this until uh, we get all of these trees and then we'll, we'll cut back in and uh, we'll finish off this uh, little episode. So I will see you guys in a moment. Okay guys, so this is the last piece of wood. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that crook. And as you can see, I'm down to about half uh, way on it. I only actually had to repair it once. Uh, where If I was using the wooden uh, uh, crook, I would have to repair it pretty much every second tree. Uh, in this case, I only repaired it the once and I've still got half left on it. Uh, one other thing to note is my hunger is gone down because I've been using that vein mining. So we're just gonna take some of those acorns that we roasted up and we're just gonna go munch, munch, munch and then once that is munched up we're going to go take our new stone axe and then just vein mine all this wood and if we needed more we could you know keep going from this point on but uh, that was just a, a little bit of a demo of how I like to do the wood uh, in the early uh, Sky Factory games uh, once we get up to the bonsai pots uh, things are definitely going to change uh, for the better but uh, that is going to be it for this one guys uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, if you did please think about leaving a like and a subscribe uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.